people welcome back to my youtube channel i know you guys missed me but i'm back unfortunately my husband lost one of his aunties and i was hosting his family from mombasa and the states and you know when people come all the way from the states they don't just stay in kenya for three to four days they stay about two to three weeks and then that's it so i was taking care of family while console con 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 what was it called? Eh? But anyway guys, I'm back. So today I'm doing a really exciting video and it's about, I want you guys to get to know me a little bit more. So first question is, where was I born? Okay, I was born in Webuye. You guys know where Webuye is? I was born at Lugulu Hospital in December of 1991. That's where I was born. So second question is, uh, what I do and who am I? Yeah, so I'm a wife, I'm a business owner, I'm a mother, I'm a sister, I'm a friend, I'm your BFF, I'm everything, yeah. So what do I do? I'm a business owner, I own a line of cosmetic, natural cosmetic products for women. We sell shea butters, rice soap, lip balm, body scrub, facial cleansers, everything natural. Rice soap is our number one best seller. Okay, so apart from having my own business, I'm also doing digital marketing. In that, if you have a business and you feel like you need to be out there for somebody to do marketing for you on social media platforms, I'm the girl for you. So I do digital marketing. You come with the products. Uh, we we do a photo shoot, like it's a cloth company. We do a photo shoot, we do reels, and then I post it on my gram so that your your business will be out there for people to know. Yeah, so my third question was, how many siblings do you have? Uh, I come from a family of five. So we are three girls and two boys. I'm the third born. So I have my elder sister, Carol, and then I have my bro, Kevin, and then me, then my younger brother, Junior, and my little sister, Sarah. So where did I go to school? Uh, I went to school in Western Province, where I was born. I went to St. Joseph's Primary School. Tangu nasari mnakumuka yesi kukuluka na baby class, lafu middle class, lafu pre-unit. So from there, I went to class one, class two, then class two, from St. Joseph, I went to Lugulu boarding. So Lugulu boarding, class two, class three, and then class four, I went for boarding because my parents were busy. So Lugulu boarding, I was there for class four, class five, class six, class seven. My shai kanishin, it was so hard for me. I couldn't stand boarding. So my parents took me back to St. Joseph's Primary School where I did my class seven and class eight. So after class eight, I was called to some school, but my dad had connections, so he took me to Kaimosi Girls High School. So from Kaimosi Girls High School, I finished at, I mean, I finished in 2010, then 2011, 2012, I joined Mount Kenya University where I did my diploma for purchasing and supplies and also did my degree in Thika for uh, business management. Yeah, so uh, you guys want to know if I'm still keeping one friend since I was a little baby? No, I will say one friend which I know, I mean some of the friends which I'm keeping from way back is my primary friend, Noel Miyogani, you know yourself girl, I love you so much. Uh, we met when I was in St. Joseph's class seven, until today we are good friends. And today Kosana, and today Kwerusana, best of friends. These are some of the people that are really close to my heart. And also when I went to Kaimosi Girls, I met this beautiful lady, Linda. Of course I've had so many friends, but the ones that stand out for me is Noel, Linda, uh, who else? I mean, those are the two people I would say they're really close to my heart and I love them to bits. Yeah, so Linda, we still keep in touch. Actually, she's coming to on, on my next video. And Noel, uh, we are now mothers. Our, our kids play together. She's out there, she's doing her thing. Yeah, so I still keep in touch with most of my friends, but the ones who are really close to me, they're those two. So let me tell you 
about my hustle experience. Yeah, so I would say my husband, I'm a my lifestyle and everything, but I'm an entrepreneur. I don't rely on him for everything. Of course, I have my own needs. I have my makeup, I have my hair, nee, nee, nee. when I need something, I just take money from my business and I take care of myself. And also, I just don't spoil myself, I invest. I have uh, projects going on in and there. I can't talk about it because I don't want to gist it, but I have my own shambas, I have my own cars. Yeah, so my hustle experience has been tough. Up to where I am today, I wouldn't say I've made it, but I'm somewhere, you know? I can sustain my life and my business is out there, you understand? So it started in after, it started in campus when I was in MKU, MKU. Yeah, so nimepeleka na mzazi shule kusoma, but they were only giving me a thousand bob to take care of me the whole week. So per month I used to get four thousand bob Kenya shillings uh, for my expenditure. It's not enough. So what I decided to do, I decided to sell small keys at academics. What you are think I'm Nigeria, MKU academics, me no require supply when was small keys. So in the morning I used to wake up very early. I go to the supermarket, uh Wamaida, it's called Wamaida supermarket, some supermarket in town. I buy small keys two hundred and forty shillings, na kuja na ziboy, nikisha ziboy, na kata katikati, ne kiawa tu kachubari, and then I go door to door at the hostel. To sell them, I used to sell 20 shillings. At the end of the day, I took an account 1,200 bob. Then I found my hustle can grow big. My neighbor was a Muslim, and she was also Swahili. So I asked her, "Can you teach me how to make mahamri and samosas?" So we used to make. In the morning, we used to make samosas because of going to class and all that. And in the evening, we make uh, samosas and kaimati. Some Swahili, Swahili is buy things. Then we used to sell and make money. From that Nikona hustle I was, I started washing clothes. I had clients up to Kasarani. People are used to referring me. Nilikuwa no share what to go. Kwanza I'm a bachelor, I'm a baba. Nikwa na penda sana. Nikeda po shango yam tu. I'm a chauku matao kwa mfuko simbrudishi I pocket. So on top of what I'm getting, I'm also getting my tip from their pockets. Yeah, from there I started doing business. My very first business, apart from what I was doing in school, is um, I started selling booty poppers. You know booty poppers? They are because in a shikilia tumbo, alafu in a pop ass. So I was the first girl in Nairobi to bring booty poppers here. In, Ke in, in Kenya, I was the first girl to bring booty poppers in Kenya. Yeah, booty poppers, Lily's user, I sold those things. Baka nikabaya my dad, Gary. Shout out to my dad. I bought him a Toyota. Uh, Volts. Yes. Shout out to him. I bought him my first car from my first business. It was very good. I even took myself to Dubai for a trip just to say congratulations, respect on what you're doing. So, uh, booty popper, biashara kanza kwenda chini. Kwa sababu, kila mtu alini copy. Kila mtu kanza kuleta fake. Kuna grade 1 China, grade 2, grade 3. So, me, I used to take grade 1. But watu wakanza kuleta grade ya chini, alafu they selling it cheap. So, so many people started buying the cheap ones, not knowing that we used to sell quality. Nikachana na story ya booty popper, nikaleta zile stick on bras. But then, nimejaribu so many businesses. Ndo baka nifike enya mungu walikuwa meniandalilia. I've tried so many business. So I bought the stick on bras. Those bras which we used to in a kai vika mama bawa, alafiko na stick uku na uku. You just stick and then that's it. But then I came to realize we sold so many bras. I sold <coughs> excuse me. A lot of bras. Every week we used to ship about two thousand pieces to Kenya from China. So it's all bras ilikuja, then most of the people in your corner and your nyesha. But it in a full in a just so you not used to hold it visuri. I love it and I want to copy or can it cheap quality a cheap market it can be But maybe product it took I even require the first person to let an as user. I from from brass. I went and started selling the charcoal toothpaste. Ile charcoal toothpaste and your kids who go and I will be men of in a car white. Boy, when you will come to me, you have to see you going to it was nice. So I sold a lot of toothpaste. And then from toothpaste, my husband told me, Rispa, let me open for you a uh, liquor store business. Nika fungulua liquor store business, uh, Langata Road. 
for three years we were strong na kwambia i used to sell alcohol on langata road kila mtu alikuwa anajua liquor liquor rice ya rispa hapo hivyo ndo nikapata deal yangu ya Nairobi Diaries i went and started uh, making money out there apart from my business ya liquor store nilikuwa nafanya pia job Nairobi Diaries huku napata job kutoka kwa i mean pesa kutoka kwa Nairobi Diaries na napata pesa pia kutoka kwa my liquor store liquor store ika, ika grow jioni mababa na mabrado na marriage robo alikuwa anakuja na pack hapo nje so ikabidi nimechukua food court nime change kakuwa ba so ma, most of my clients were nigerians zimbabweans or um, south africans so on monday i used to have south african night on tuesday i used to have nigerian night on wednesday i used to have zimbabwe night it was packed i used to sell alcohol yani kwa siku siezi on a good day on a friday nilikuwa na bank kama 700,000 toka kwa liquor store. Hiyo biashara ilikuwa nzuri. But then uh, we were building our house so we were staying at state house and it was close to Langata. And now biashara ukitaka iende mbele ni wewe mwenyewe uko kwa hiyo business. Usipokuwa kwa hiyo business utaibiwa tu. So tulipo hama tukenda Kitusuru and we used to close at 11 at night. It was so hard for us driving from Langata to Kitusuru and I was pregnant. So what I did, I sold my business. After selling my business, I had something else in my mind. So I said, let me get into cosmetic business. So um, my mother-in-law traveled to Thailand. She came back with a really nice rice soap. She, she was about uh, 50 years, but her face looked very smooth. She looks like a 26-year-old. Yani alikuwa so young and so, her skin was so nice and glowing. Na yangu, I'm the youngest, lakini skin yangu ilikuwa mbovu. Then I tell her, mommy, can you give me the soap? I tried. Niki jaribu na inifanyi, uh, you can give me contacts for your Thailand people. We ship this thing and we try. So she gives me this soap. After two weeks, all my pimples, everything was gone on my face. And I said, Rispa, this is the business for you. I contacted people in Thailand. Wakaniambia Rispa. We can send you a few pieces, you try. They send it. First day, they make IV online. I put my before and after photo. That was my breakthrough. Cosmetic business was my breakthrough. The business blew. So, the rice up, rice up, rice up, rice up, rice up, rice up, rice up. Then my clients were asking me, Rispa, now that you're selling for us a soap, could you please bring a moisturizer for us? Then I brought in Shea Butter. From Shea Butter, clients, yani, I engage with my clients, they ask me, Rispa, can you give us like a complete skincare routine for the morning and evening? That's why we brought uh, body scrub, facial cleanser, the serum, everything. So right now, the business has been out there for about seven years and it's doing great. I'm so grateful. So my future plans are, I want to venture into so many things. Nataka ni kwe kama mkikuyu, na shika huku, na huku, na kila kitu, inaletea pesa. I sit like this and my kids are well taken care of. Na niko sawa. Yani you understand? Like I'm okay. My money is working for me. At the age of 40 years I can retire and say that I can pass this business over to my kids and they'll take care of yani generational wealth. You understand? Yeah, so uh, my future plans are I want to save my money very good. For example, if you're making 15,000 a day, I take my 5,000 of Kenya shillings, I save it in the bank. At the end of the year, I'm going to 1 million. Nenda uko ndani sio kimao watu wanategeza apartments. Nenda Mombasa uko watu wanategeza apartments na uweka down payment yangu ya 1 million for a two bedroom house. A one bedroom house. Hiyo nyumba nailipia pole pole. By the time off plan, by the time imeisha hiyo nyumba ni yangu na ifanish vizuri tunaeka Airbnb so i can use 3 million to buy an apartment and then every day naifanya Airbnb naingiza kama 20k kwa siku na ifanish vizuri very classy Airbnb kila siku naona 20000 Kenya shillings niambieni sitakuwa na kadri hivi Miami niki sip on my uh, on my cocktails niki enjoy pesa yangu yeah, so th those are my future plans. I'm looking into venturing into Airbnbs and buying more apartments for myself and also to uplift my siblings. Nataka kila mtu akwe na ayo. Si ati, oh, respawn is idea, respawn. No. Nyeke kila mtu kwa family akwe, akwe. So of course they're okay. Everybody is doing okay, but I want everybody to be happy. You understand? We uplift each other. That's my goal for the next five or six years. So for my closing remark, uh, start small. Let's say you have 5,000 Kenya shillings. 
and you have a passion for something, start. Don't wait for you to pile a lot of money so that you can start your business. No. Kama unataka kufungua kibanda ya nguo, your 5,000 bob Kenya shillings yako, enda kikomba. Chukua kamera, kuja osha nguo, system vizuri, weka online, piga picture, lipa market day kwa Edgar, lipa market day kwa Rispa, lipa market day wherever, ukuti online, uze nguo zako. Unawana? Kwa sababu, if you don't start today, when are you going to start, okay? Start today so that in the next five years, utasema we, thank God I started. But in the next five years, tukizeka, usiregret, usi useme no, why didn't I start, you understand? So as little as you have, start today. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope I've inspired someone. Uh, make sure you like, subscribe, and share to your friends. I love you all, and I wish everybody the best. Mwah! Woo! <laughs>